What's going on guys? Today I'll be teaching you how to defeat the Ender Dragon because Dadu the Dice commented how do you defeat the Ender Dragon? How to kill the Ender Dragon? Well this video is meant for you. Let's get started. First of all, you need to know how to activate the end portal. This is how an activated end portal looks like. And if you go inside the portal, it will look like this. But you have been sacrificed. You just disappear. But to get in the end portal, you need all these eyes right here. The eye of ender. How do you get the eye of ender? You spawn it. You don't need to spawn Enderman, you wait for Enderman to spawn. Okay, let's say there's an Enderman. You trigger them by knocking them or anything. Basically, all you want to do is just go kill them. Basically, some of them will drop the Ender Pulse. That's how you get it, basically. Basically, that's how you get Ender Pulse. And after you get the ender pulse, all you want to do is get get a crafting table, put the ender pearl right there, and blaze powder. Blaze powder, you can get it from killing blazes. You want 12. There we go, 12. And tip, you want to sort of get, you want to stand in the middle and place all of the eyes but leave one out because you don't want to go in the end portal yet just like this and we've activated the end portal next i'm gonna teach you the enchantment so basically you get a bow you get your armor get a bunch of enchanted books I suggest getting Feather Falling Fall for me, that's the best enchantment I can get because honestly the the Ender Dragon is just gonna keep knocking you off I get my sword there we go I don't suggest any big enchantments, I think Sharpness is good right now, I think the Infinity Enchantment is important because you don't wanna waste a lot of arrows Next, you want to get your armor out. All you need to do is just get your armor. I suggest getting... I suggest getting maybe protection 4 on all of your armor. There we go. And for your boots, I suggest getting Feather Falling. Um, if you guys want to see me defeat the Ender Dragon, I am defeating the Ender Dragon, and I have defeated him. Just go watch my one block survival series, the last episode. Or you can definitely go watch the trailer first, because it, it's a really sick, it's really sick series. Um, basically, that's all you need for your armor, and the next thing you want is your ender pulse. You're gonna need teleport around, maybe some potions, night vision, slow falling, you don't want ender dragon to knock you off, and the totem of undying is really important. Um, glass bottle so you can collect some of the dragon's breath. I will show you how later. The pumpkin head and ladders or blocks personally i like ladders and definitely some food or oh, another thing you also want is enchanted apples i had some enchanted apples in my series the finale the final mission um it really helps so Basically, if you're low on health, it gives you a lot of health. It gives you regeneration. Okay, so that is basically um, the enchanted apples. 
And another thing you want to do while fighting the Ender Dragon is you want to keep your inventory as organized as possible. Like, you don't want to like stop the fight halfway and start reorganizing your stuff. So you have to be ready. Another thing you want to do is maybe get pumpkin, the carved pumpkins. All you need is shears and pumpkins. You want to wear it because you don't really want the Enderman to attack you. You don't want to look at them. But for me, I don't like it because take, taking your helmet off for that pumpkin is... It means you can't have any protection. You have less protection. And there's one more disadvantage that it sort of covers up some of your vision. You can't see properly. And that's one thing I don't like. So usually I like to wear my helmets and just get really really careful. Um, and without further ado, let's jump right in the end portal and I'll show you how to fight. Um, okay guys, another thing I forgot to tell you to get is definitely a pickaxe. I'm getting the netherite pickaxe obviously because it's better than diamond. And you want a bunch of building buffs, I suggest getting something cheap maybe wood or dirt i think dirt is the best one because it's the easiest to collect and wood burns so first you want to build your way to the island sometimes you spawn on the island sometimes you spawn off the island on a platform just like that and what you want to do is get all those crystals as you can see up there just right there you can see the crystal personally i like to use night vision potions and i just realized that i don't have any arrows i'm just gonna get arrows really quick i only need one arrow because i have the infinity enchantment and right now um, I've got this I've got this really weird map like as you can see the obsidian towers don't end um, so I'm just gonna throw my ender pearl right there basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna build up you wanna build up and yeah you also wanna dodge all those fireballs but there's one thing good about those fireballs you can collect you can collect dragon's breath i would suggest eating your enchanted apples before you get the dragon's breath because it does take damage okay so it's gonna build up with ladders here okay i'm just gonna break all these iron bars with the netherite pickaxe what you want to do you don't want to take any damage i don't really suggest standing in here so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna hold my bow i'm gonna go back down this ladder and shoot it it's gonna break all the iron bars and what I usually do is I would stand at the spot where I have broken and I would usually see I just fell off that's one thing hard about the ender dragon fight um, I'm on peaceful mode now so there's no enderman I am just gonna switch just so I can show you let's go easy mode I don't want too many of them spawning just gonna get both you want to shoot all of the crystals down. There we go, we've got that one down. Certain people like to use ender pearls. Um, you can do that, but it's not that easy. Like, I prefer using just the bow. Like I said, this is a really, really weird end because the towers are literally in the middle of nowhere as you can see just gonna stand here I might get knocked off 
but that's how this ant is. Um, ants spawn differently, they're just weird. They spawn randomly, basically you want to destroy all the crystals. Like you can slowly shoot them, you can also destroy the crystals with your pickaxe, but that means you have to build up. Um, and the endermans are also going to get really annoying. Basically, I'm just going to go creative and break all of the cr crystals just so... I'm not going to defeat the ender dragon, I'm just going to show you how you guys can. You can use water buckets or snowballs. There we go. When you finish breaking all the crystals, you can wait here. Usually, I like to attack it with my sword, but you can use your bow too. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait for the ender dragon to come. There we go, and then you just keep on knocking him. Maybe you can get a potion of strength or something. I'm just gonna get strength too. Strength makes your hits harder, like maybe let's say this sword does 5 damage, it might, it will give it the ability to get 10 damage or so. I wouldn't suggest getting your last shot right on the portal here. Like, you don't want all the XP to fall in. That's how it looks like when the ender dragon dies, he just bursts out and he will drop a lot a lot a lot of XP. Um, there we go, we've got the XP, um, hopefully you guys learn how to destroy the ender dragon, honestly. I'm not sure if my tutorial is good but you guys can give me feedback. Um, you can give me negative feedback if you want. Not sure why I'm not connect collecting this experience. Let's just go in the cr into survival mode. And check how much XP we have. 64. Not sure why we're not collecting that. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay, now I'll teach you how to get... The dragon egg basically you just want to break it and it will appear somewhere you also need a torch you break it and you just appear anywhere so basically it appeared here what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna dig down below that block I am gonna get a torch place it right there and I'm gonna break this block and when it falls it drops the block now I got the and dragon egg basically that's how you do it um, didn't mean to place it down doesn't really matter when you get the dragon egg you go back into the overworld and what happens in the overworld is that you'll get this end screen not gonna show you it's really really long the last time I watched it it took about 10 minutes which is why I didn't show it on the video, but that's basically how you defeat the Ender Dragon. Hopefully you guys learn how to, because honestly I don't think my tutorials are that good. Um, but that's basically how you defeat the Ender Dragon. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and if this video helped you, don't forget to share it with your friends. And that's about it. With that being said, peace.